All right, welcome to a file center receipts training video. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about a, a new feature that is just coming out. It is inside of the reports uh, feature set of the receipts program, and we are going to be talking a little bit about subtotals. So now when we actually come into uh, the receipt structure here uh, inside of the file center receipts, uh, when we come up and we click on the icon that says reports, this will open up a brand new window for us. And in this window, uh, the very first thing that we could do is we could just quickly click on build report. This is one of the things that I really like to do just because I want to see where I'm kind of starting from. And so I just come in, click build reports, and just like that, I, I have everything pretty much ready for me. Now, the next step after that that I take is I come in and I'll name my reports. And so this is like a project that I did here at my home and uh, for uh, going in and doing a new fireplace. And so I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna call this uh, project fireplace. And at that point, if I click on build report, now all of a sudden you can start to see um, this start being built out uh, from having the file name or the report name and then the range of what I'm looking at. Now, if I wanted to, this is the, where the new feature really comes in. <clears throat> is maybe I want to filter this out by either a payee or maybe a category. And one of the things that we're able to do from here is we can come in and customize this so that we can come down here to where it says order by. And I want to order this by payee. And so at this point, if I come in and I build that report, now all of a sudden you're gonna see here from uh, my columns, I have my payment date, my payee, the amount, um, and it subtotals each one of those out for me so that I can have a really uh, structured report. Now also kind of in the same sense of that, since we can actually come in and pull out the sales tax, the VAT tax, or um, all the different tax groups in Canada, we can also come in and filter that and subtotal that as well. But one of the things that you're going to notice over here on the right hand side where it has the sales tax column, it is not it is not subtotaling that out at this current time. So what we're going to do is we just come in, it's just because of the placement of that column. <clears throat> and so we're just going to come down here in the bottom left hand corner. There's filters and then there's columns. And so we're just going to come in and click on columns. And we're going to take our sales tax uh, column here. And we're just going to go ahead and bump that up. And I'm actually going to, I like it to be right after my amount total anyways. And so I'm going to go ahead and throw that right there. And then I'm just going to come back over to my filters, click on build report. We're going to come in, we'll, we'll filter this out again by payee and then build my report yet again. And just like that now, you can come in and see that it is subtotaling out even though uh, it looks like these receipts in general just don't have the subtotals in there or the, the actual sales tax there. But this will at least come in and it will start subtotaling everything out for you. So again, uh, this is just a training video that's covering um, the how to subtotal out on a report and hopefully that uh, brings a lot of value to you and if you have any questions feel free uh, leave a comment down below or if you have any questions about it uh, feel free again to ask any of your questions down below. I look forward to catching you in the next training video.